Hello everyone and welcome to our weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream. I really appreciate you joining us here on twitch.tv slash DDO stream. Don't forget to follow us to be notified when we're going live, and we are live every Wednesday starting at noon Eastern time, minus 4 GMT. Uh, today we're uh, doing part two, our second uh, run Hello, on water, Kyber. Welcome to our weekly oh, Wednesday lunchtime me, uh, live stream. Got to mute. Got to mute your video while you're uh, watching the stream. There you get a feedback just like that, so sorry about that. Uh, so anyway, uh, we were on Kyber last week, we're on Kyber this week, uh, next week we'll be heading to a different server, probably Sarlana, because I've uh, heard some folks uh, you know, uh, wish that we would uh, head over there, that has been a little while, so we'll do that. We will head to uh, Sarlana starting next week, but this week we're wrapping up uh, some epic three-barrel cove on Kyber. We're going to start with uh, epic uh, elite, if we uh, can get the group together for uh, Garl's tomb. Uh, we do have an LFM up on Kyber right now, so if you're interested in joining our group, if you're watching in chat and think you can join us, I'm gonna uh, have any to level's restart far. my client. My uh, chats aren't working. Oh, okay. Uh, where was I? Uh, so, yeah, anyway, if you're interested in uh, joining the group, uh, hit up the LFM. The uh, name of the character is Armog, and I do have an LFM public up right now for Epica Three Barrel Cove. We're going to, like I said, try EE. -E. Garl's Tomb. <laughs> I wondered how many minutes it would be before someone uh, commented on my haircut. Yes, this is true. I did get a big haircut. Uh, sometimes during the summer like this, I just get, I don't know, I just sort of get sick of having longer hair, and it's just like, you know what? I'm cutting this sucker off. So, so there you go. Went and did that this uh, past weekend. <laughs> yeah, a DDO cut, right? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. East Store Blue. Cool. Well, as you can see, I'm uh, here on uh, Kyber, just uh, forming up the group, so uh, go ahead and uh, hit our LFM if you are interested. Alright, so it looks like we have uh, one person that'll be uh, joining us in just a second. Alright, uh... Uh, sorry, Lucas, we uh, do need to have an epic character here to run with us today. I try to, a lot of times, run heroic content just for that reason, so that people from other servers can come join us no matter what, uh, really, level they are. But, uh, but I wanted to do epic elite on this stuff, so... There you go. We'll see how we end up with, uh... If we shortman this, well, heck, we'll do that too. But let's give the elephant a few minutes to, uh, fill up here. Uh, so, uh, again, just to welcome everyone, uh, who just joined us here on our twitch.tv slash DDO stream live stream. Uh, this is on Kyber, and, uh, we are going to be running Epic Elite th uh, Three Barrel Cove, starting with Garl's Tomb. We'll see if we can get, uh, that in another question, perhaps, over our lunch stream. I do want to mention as well that at 1.30 Eastern Time, so in about an hour and a half, I will be joining the, uh, Summer Fling Static Group for another live stream, and that will be live streamed here on twitch.tv slash DDO stream. For those who aren't familiar with that particular static group, uh, we launched it, uh, last week, uh, officially on the live stream anyway. And it's a, a static group on Arganesson with, uh, Lessa and, uh, Samus Garobo, uh, Grimord, uh, let's see, Bonnie Bue's there, uh, Can't, uh, Can't Touch is there, and a couple other folks as well. And it's basically just, a, us as a static group, uh, with a limited sort of, uh, rule set, uh, where we're only using gear we find along the quests, and we're currently running low-level content. I've got a, uh, single weapon fighting, uh, swashbuckler there. Hey, welcome very much. Appreciate you joining us. And, uh, we do have a chat room going. I am keeping an eye on the chat. I will, uh, answer as much as I can. Let's see. Uh, I know that we did have a, uh, a few issues, uh, no recently. Uh, we're doing uh, it was Sarlano over the right? weekend. So, should be cleared up now, though. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Uh, we're doing this on Elite? Yes, if possible, I'd like to do Epic Elite, uh, for, uh, Garl's Tomb here. Hey, Cordo. How you doing, guys? Good. Uh, welcome, uh, everyone in the group. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, we did, like I said, we did have, uh, Pure Rage. He'll join us, uh, right off the bat, but then went gray, so I guess we'll give it another minute or so before, before, uh, letting him go. 
Uh, you know, I just happen to be on this tune. Um, this is Diamond Dies, by the way. I think I was with you last week. Was that last Wednesday? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you were there for our horrific uh, death at Prove Your Worth, but uh, this time we don't have any uh, server Proof issues device. going on. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, what else can I? Uh, I was going to offer to switch to my healer if you guys would prefer. Ooh, that might be useful. Uh, we certainly don't have one at the moment. Okay, yep, just give me a few minutes and I'll be back. Cool. All right, uh, so let's see. What, what can we talk about uh, before we get started here? Um, yeah, we're doing E.E. Uh, e. Garl's Tomb to start with here. I guess I did let the uh, cat out of the bag. Uh, was it uh, yesterday? Let's see. That. I will remove your raid shield and we'll get for uh, the next person, or the person who just commented. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We have a healer coming shortly, and that'll be the group. I thought there was going to be a type of voting thing, someone says in chat, whether or not Crystal Cove would be brought back. Uh, you actually are getting to what I was just going to say here, which is that Crystal Cove is coming back. It'll come back on Thursday, probably uh, late morning Eastern time, is about uh, what you can expect uh in terms of the actual start time, we'll announce it on, say, the social networks and forums and such when it's when it's officially live. And it'll run for about a week and a half. And uh, for those of you who might not be interested in uh, Crystal Cove this time around, because we have not yet uh, updated the uh, uh, new loot uh, as we had uh, suggested we were going to do in a post on the forums, uh, that is coming. But that's not going to be here in time for this version of Crystal Cove. So uh, what we're doing is... Uh, Putting Crystal Cove out for those who are interested, say, in new swashbuckler gear and uh, things like that. And uh, for the uh, uh, rest of you, if you are really just kind of want to wait on Crystal Cove, then we do have a double commendations of Valor Boost that will be going as well. That will be kicking off on Thursday and running uh, in line with uh, Crystal Cove, so about a week and a half there. So that's something uh, pretty exciting to look forward to here. Let's see. All right. Well, got. Uh, we have anyone uh, else coming? It looks like we might have uh, lost one. Just waiting for our cleric to come back here. Have you guys uh, been enjoying uh, Three Barrel Cove here? It's uh, you know been on a couple weeks now, giving you plenty of time to to learn the quest and all that sort of thing. How's it? Uh, how's it been going for y'all? Pretty good. Yes, nice. Double accommodations of Valor. You can't beat that, right? <laughs> so. Alright, well, let's see. What else do we uh, to chat about here? What else we got going on? Uh, we did just have uh, recently our patch, so if you haven't seen the uh, patch notes, you can look forward to that. We are working on another patch for Update 22. Uh, no ETA on that yet. It's going to be uh, at least uh, probably a couple weeks from now or so uh, while we sort of get the um, the final touches done on the uh, next patch, which will include a bunch of bug fixes and uh, things that we weren't able to get to but wanted to get to, uh, say, for the first patch there as well. Let's see. Yes, the quest teleporter dude in Three Barrel Cove is uh, very nice. Uh, it's it's something you know we have in a couple of our recent uh, uh, wilderness areas uh, and larger sort of exploration zones and such. It's uh, it's very nice. So. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, Carbon uh, GUI mentions uh, that. Uh, Perhaps we should reduce the map piece requirement turn-in to ensure a, a healthy uh, return of the uh, uh, Crystal Cove uh, mining event. And uh, yes, that is something we actually did discuss. Um, I don't quite remember what we settled on with the numbers, but we will be uh, making sure that uh, Crystal Cove reopens regularly, uh, regardless of the uh, size of the population. So, uh, participating in it. Alright, uh, cool, here's our uh, healer. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, I called you a healer, but that's not entirely true. And an amazing fighter who also can keep us alive. <laughs> right on. <laughs> yeah, this guy actually, uh, he's, he's built uh, primarily as a healer. I mean, that's always my primary role. Especially if I am the only healer class in the party. But uh, I usually go with light damage. Nice. Alright, let's give it another uh, one minute for the group to fill, and then we'll uh, just get going on this. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Uh, someone mentions in chat. I can make uh, a recommendation having a yeah. crowd control caster in here might help a little bit. Yeah, it probably would. Depends if we get one, though. I'm not really going to wait around for a yeah. specific uh, yeah. person. Yeah, uh, don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Uh, so someone mentions in chat, uh, R1NC, the patch is just for bugs, or will we see some of the changes that are being planned uh, for the enhancements uh, for Paladins and Bard Trees, a War Chanter Spellsinger? I believe that's currently set for update 23 on uh, the Spellsinger and War Chanter changes, not, not patch. Is that correct? Oh, that is patch? Okay. Okay, we, okay, I've just been corrected there. We are hoping to get it into patch. Uh, of course, that does... Oh, not the Paladin stuff, but the Spellsinger and Warchanter in particular uh, are planned for patch. Of course, you know, it. Uh, things can always crop up at the last minute here, but that is the plan to have those in patch. And then the Paladin stuff will be, uh, is currently planned for update 23. Hello, Hello welcome. You have uh, filled up our group here. We're going to head out uh, real shortly here to do Epic Elite Garl's Tomb. All right, uh, let's see. Any change on the Abbott flag? Are you talking about the hint? Cordo, would you like a shipping point? Uh, no, I think I'm all right. I'll, we'll just go with what we, what I got. It's fine. Uh, when is Talera going to do an update again? I don't know. I suppose when I uh, when I drag her in front of a camera and make her do it. <laughs> I, I'll get on that if she has an interest in uh, being on one of our. Uh, one of our, uh, uh, say, YouTube updates, community updates. Sure, we'd love to have her on. Uh, what is this patch? Uh, we do not yet have an ETA on it. It's uh, something we're working on. You, you can expect probably. Strategically placed to detect ships coming um, in and I don't want to give a time frame free, exactly, but let's let's say probably within the next, uh, certainly within the next month, and most likely sooner than that. Uh, let's see. Uh, haircut, yes. Epic Elite, so brave. Or f so foolish. I guess we'll find out shortly, huh? Let's see. Uh, I don't think we have any plans to change the way that it would, Abbott would be flagged on Heroic. But uh, the rest of that's just going to have to wait till we have uh, more information to provide. Sorry, I can't, uh, can't spill the beans on the live stream here on that one there. But uh, uh, changes to Barbarians, I know it's something that we are considering. Uh, at this time, we don't have anything to announce in regards to, yes, we are doing it right now, or what have you. But uh, but it's on our radar that, that we would like to, to look at the Barbarian uh, class as well. Oops, did I pick the wrong one? Oops. Lieutenants, girls, tune. Yeah, for some reason, I'm not uh, getting the epic version of this quest right now. Let me make sure. Yes, Perpion. Uh, just go to Three Girl Cove. You'll be in a public area to start with. And there's an actual uh, portal UI to get into the wilderness area. I'm going to send out a share here. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I'm uh, just uh, looking up something here quick on uh, Girl's Tomb. Let's see. Okay, I just must have done something wrong. Anyway, we are in now on Epic Elite, so good enough. Hey, uh, alright, we are now in on Epic Elite. Abbott flagging should be harder, <laughs> you think? <laughs> I don't know if people would agree with you on that one. <laughs> it's uh, one of the more uh, uh, complex, shall we say, flagging uh, requirements in DDO. See my dad is, bro. Necro 4 is not for those who shower lukewarm. Yes, you're probably right. I really can't wait to, I really can't wait to uh, talk to you about stuff that'll be coming soon. So, Let's see, what else, uh, what else can I talk about here that we've done? 
Uh, we do have a, a new airship and amenities guide, if you haven't seen that yet. it'll uh, I did include even a list of all the airship amenities and what they do. So if you're looking for, like, uh, well, what plus does it give me, I do have a list on uh, in that guide as well. You can find it on just ddo.com. Real easy to find that guide. Just go to the guide section, if nothing else, and look for the airship and amenities guide. It also talks a little bit about how you can get the airships. I have a rundown, a chart on sort of how many holds and staterooms are in each of the airships and that kind of thing. I uh, stayed away from pricing only because, you know, pricing wow, tends to fluctuate. Wow, the filters are already 160. Zell's got to be happy about that. <laughs> yeah, we were doing some renowned farming last night. The heroic giant hold say it gives the same amount of renown as the epic one. And with three of us, we could do a whole round of giant hold in about 30 minutes. So we did like four sagas in a row, all popping guild renown bots. Nice. Uh, someone mentions in chat so, uh, uh, airship in like, fixes uh, in the patch. In two sure hours, we got like, uh, uh, I don't know how much it was, um, three times. It's like 200k, so six. We got like 1.4 million or now or something. Just three of us. Yeah, you guys went up like you guys went up two guild levels yesterday within about 12 hours, less than 12 hours. I noticed. Yeah. I was yeah. wondering how you pulled that off. Well, well, I have two tunes that had their sagas ready, and then we hit heroic giant hold saga a few more times. So between three of us, we did like. Um, See, I did eight sagas, and the other guys did a few also. And then with the Renown pot, it hits you for like 217,000 Renown, the one in Ruard. Nice. Uh, does anyone have, is anyone still having trouble uh, finding their way out here? Otherwise, I guess maybe we should uh, get started, huh? Alright, I'm gonna throw some buffs on you guys. Okay. Cord, I'm gonna make sure to put some resist on you this time. <laughs> I'm almost there. Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Now, what we'll probably have to do is just uh, start with some careful pulling and uh, see where we go from there. Uh, Lodger 5S, is the Slayer count in Epic Three Barrel Cove working, i.e. the Marines from the airships do not count? Uh, the answer to that is, I believe, yes, it is working as intended, because they are a part of the airship in the same way that, say, summons don't count for Slayers. Sorry, do you need bomb? No, I can pass out that bomb and jump to everybody and bark skin if they want. But in particular, with this particular change, I think that that is a, a piece of feedback that we yeah, I got it. I got the might be willing to consider in the so. future. We'll have to take a look at sort of what we, uh, whether or not we want to continue with the way it's working now or not. But, yeah, uh, I already have freedom of movement. But we'll see. But yes, it is actually currently working as intended. It just, you know, may be something that we would decide to change perhaps in the future, if we wanted to, and uh, had time to do it and all the other stuff. Uh, let's see. You guys are having trouble finding the uh, entrance here, you can always go back to the start. There's an NPC right in front of you. If you've run the quest before at least once, you can use that NPC to teleport here. Otherwise, the uh, the best way to find it is just take the, once you first enter the Three Barrel Cove Wilderness area, just follow the trail to the left, you know, you'll kind of go by the the uh, uh, sort of tower structure there, and then you'll just wind around a little bit and get to a bridge. Uh, when you get to that bridge over the uh, sort of inlet there, I was following just him. jump, yeah, jump down. Uh, we have a, a question in chat. Uh, are we planning, let's see, uh, when will they start to drop in chests? I assume uh, for they you mean uh, airship amenities. And I believe that that is something we're targeting our patch for as well. Uh, that's uh, one of the things we should be should be able to bring in patch, hopefully. Uh, otherwise, airship fixes in the patch. Uh, I'm not sure quite what fixes in particular you are uh, Let me know before you guys now. want to start here. I'll go ahead and drop these masses. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, we got one in. 
Okay, let's do it. By the way, congrats, uh, Toy Soldiers, on hitting 160. Oh, thanks. We we were really wanted to find out what the color was, so we were just a couple million renowned, so we decided to just work on that. I'll be there in a second. Get it done. A single blood tide pirate peers into the gloom. He seems to be waiting for someone. Found it. How about you, my dear? He blocks the passage. It looks as if new tenants have made Grey Gar's tomb their home. I uh, rocked my uh, stuff too early. Uh, three fingered Thad fixed. Are you talk? That's the teleporter, I believe, right? That's the one you're talking about. Three fingered Thad uh, teleporting to the rusty nail, getting into a uh, uncouth agreement with the uh, rusty nail to teleport people to the bar instead of the airship. Uh, yeah, I believe that is. Uh, I believe that's a patch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. If not, uh, it's on our radar. I could guarantee that at least. Not too bad. Not too bad. Looking good so far. Oh, the pawnbroker. Hmm. I'll have to look into that one. I'm not quite sure what the bug is with the three-finger that off the top of my head. I don't construe that as saying we're not aware of it, only that I can't think of what that bug is right off the top of my head. Sorry. <laughs> Gonna do the optional guy over here? Sure, why not? Beyond the gate, a massive Yuan-Ti guards some kind of chase. Sorry about that. Yeah, you blocked. Yeah, yeah, I fell down. I'm coming back. Ah, okay. Sorry. One of the things I really enjoy about playing uh, this fighter is uh, not having to deal with spell points so much. <laughs> Ouch. Sifting through the loot in the chest, you find nothing to tie it to a Rotsree's treasure cache. It must be hidden elsewhere in Garl's tomb.
Oh, sometimes the pawnbrokers don't accept your gear, huh? Hmm. I have to look into that one a little bit. Darn. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. Sorry. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing a uh, uh, the words three fingered that in a, a book somewhere, but I couldn't tell you what the status is. Sorry. Thank you, sorry about that. Ah, uh, it's fine. Yeah, it might be my fault. But I was throwing out heels, he might have been blocked or not with the rest of the group. You um, need resist? Fire of the Dragon uh, Leader right. asks, uh, why can't we sell bound to account stuff anymore in the Shard Exchange? My understanding is you weren't ever supposed to put stuff on the shard exchange. Have you been able to do bound to account? I thought I had to be bound to character on equip or unbound. Uh, so, sorry, I don't have an answer for that one. Uh, is this a swashbuckler fighter? Uh, I assume you're talking about uh, my character. No, my guy's actually a uh, sort of old school pure fighter really? kensei. And uh, what do I actually have for my a legendary dreadnought as well? I could probably stand to use that shrine if anyone can open it. It's open. I need it as well. Anyone not resting? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm not resting either. <clears throat> Alright, uh, question uh, for the stream. The Ballista Damage and Epic Storm the Beaches. Uh, basically saying you're still taking uber amounts of damage. I wouldn't say to use or lose, but... <clears throat> it's a long way back. Yeah, there's lots of shrines in this quest, isn't there? There's two or three of the three, I think. Uh, anyway, so yes, we are aware of the uh, high, e extremely high ballista damage and the epic uh, Storm of the Beaches. Uh, I actually uh, just saw the uh, bug on that yesterday. It's uh, It's something that has it's on our radar. I can't uh, promise a, a when or, or what on the fix, but it's on our radar. Um, I'll tell you that much. We are aware that it's <laughs> ridiculously high <laughs> amounts of damage. <laughs> it's a challenge, man. But maybe too much so, huh? Yeah. Uh, let's see. To lower the quality of the stream, um, basically you're you're having some trouble loading it based on your connection, huh? And it's tough. We went back and forth in recent uh, a little mm -hmm. while ago. We started using trying different streams, and I went down to like say 480p. Right now it's at 720p, and uh, I got comments from quite a few folks that they felt the resolution was just not good enough. Uh, on the stream that it was a little too hard to see and all that so I did up the stream and for the most part people are telling me that they can watch it uh, but yes if you have nice <laughs> ouch <laughs> I guess you can tell. But yes, if you have maybe uh, a, a standard work connection or something like that, that's maybe uh, a little on the lower side, it's true. This, this stream could be a little hard to follow. If I need to back out a little bit, if you can. Yeah. It's nasty. I got the two shamans that are up top. No worries. I'm following them.
Just try to back up to his doorway, guys. Let him come, funnel him through the doorway. Let him come to us. We're sitting ducks there. I'll try to raise you guys when I can. Laggy here. Yep, they got me. Yeah, that's just too much. If you can get that door open real quick, we get our stones are right there. Yeah, uh, I just uh, many shots to clear this stuff. All right. Whew. I did this on Epic Heart last week. Remember that part was a little rough. Uh, that's true. The way uh, Twitch works is that if you are a paid sub uh, subscriber to Twitch. Ooh, then you have the ability to alter the resolution for yourself um, on the streams that you're watching. Yeah, good to but I don't have the ability to say enable you as a watcher to be able to change the resolution of the stream. It simply is what is being shipped out. And then subscribers to Twitch uh, can do that, that on their own. Um, one thing I guess I'd say is if you do have particular problems live streaming this stream, we do provide uh, uh, archived video of Thank this really afterwards, uh, certainly a yeah. few hours afterwards. And we put it on both uh, Twitch and YouTube. Uh, and sometimes YouTube maybe offers a little more flexibility in regards to uh, what resolution you're watching it in. So that might be a good solution for you if you're on perhaps a uh, average to lower average uh, uh, bandwidth on your end. Anyone else need resistance? No, I got mine covered. Thank you, though. Just taking a look at the uh, chat here. Let's see. High spell resistance on the snakes. Yes. Hey, Titan. How's it going? Thanks for uh, joining me again this week. Appreciate it. Oh, I have to get partner to do that for everybody? That's right. Uh, well, I mean, our Infinite Crisis stream is a partner feed from Twitch, but... Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not sure that DDO is really going to meet the criteria for uh, being a partner program on Twitch. Uh, there are certain <laughs> thresholds you, you need to meet uh, in regards to, say, uh, number of followers, number of ad average viewers, and all that. Eh, just not sure that we're going to hit that for this, say, weekly uh, live stream thing here. So, probably not going to happen. But, you never know. If we get popular enough, it's definitely possible. Oh, did someone get the levers? Yep. Yep. You know, I. Uh, Mao, I had an issue loading the dashboard page uh, today. I got the same error that you got, so I wonder if maybe it's Twitch done. isn't having a... Uh... Yeah, it's here. Sound burst and then a symbol is coming on top of it.
Yeah, we'll we'll probably uh, give out some turbine points at the end of the uh, stream here, like we usually do. I have seen the feedback that perhaps a uh, the way we've been doing it is not ideal, but it's kind of the easiest way to do it. But I'm open to suggestions that would be about as easy uh, in order to uh, maybe facilitate uh, other people's uh, desires in regards to that. Yeah, the technical uh, name for this quest is Old Tomb New Tenants. It's not uh, Epic Girl's Tomb. But it's Epic Girl's Tomb. So. Are the UNT immune to stat damage? It does kind of appear that way, at least an Epic Elite here, huh? Probably not so much that they well actually I haven't seen an immune have you specifically seen an immune symbol? Uh that would answer your question. Otherwise it's probably just that they recover uh, fairly quickly from stat damage and epically. Yeah. Oh, pressure plate. I never even knew one was there. <laughs> oh boy. I'll try to draw them up. Yeah, Lucas, I, I'll probably do do it uh, just as you described. Yeah, they don't want it coming. There's nothing to disable. Let's try to be careful not to aggro the people behind us, too. This one. Really need to get some better healing potions. Do I have them? Ah, this doesn't work for that, huh? Interesting, unstoppable does not prevent that snare or get you out of the snare. Yeah. Yeah, Lucas, we'll be heading to Argo. Absolutely. Uh, I think Serlana's next, though, most likely. Jeez. If I start shooting the shamans, you guys are just going to get come and fall like mad. New to the quest on Epic, so if there's a trap to disable, let me know. Yeah, this is really going to be uh, kind of a range. If we have range, that would be best. <laughs> Plinking away with my terrible little crossbow. I really need a better range. This guy doesn't range. Yeah, what do I, what do, I range? Just to hit a lever or something, usually. But I really should do something about that. Uh, when's the next build on Lamania? That's a very good question. We uh, actually had a conversation about that in-house here just recently. Uh, we're probably going to yeah, end up putting the patch uh, on Lamania. Okay. Uh, and in terms of the actual time frame for that, not re yet ready to announce that, sorry. Uh, we are on Epic Elite. Yes. It is pretty pathetic. Me trying to range this guy with my wimpy little heroic crossbow. <laughs> pew, reload, pew. <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah. 
hey, I'm contributing a very, very small amount of DPS. Uh, before we head down below, this could get pretty rough. Maybe we should, uh... I, I just dropped down in many shot. Okay. So I'm stunned. If somebody has a cocoon, please, thank you. Well, I keep getting stunned. You're gonna pull if you move much closer. Something's shooting at me. Yeah, the there's a the uh, there's a shaman at the top of the stairs there. I pulled the lever in. for the symbol. <laughs> it, it's kind of funny, and I hate to admit it. <clears throat> I'm so used to ignoring symbols like that, because they, you know, when you run, like, heroes and most epics, my saves are high enough. They don't really do anything to me. Right. I just run through them. But here, not so much. I don't need that shrine. Uh, yeah, I'll be okay. Let's see, what's the... Let me ask. I really hate this end fight. <laughs> I have a question from you the chat room. You can pull the boss. I have a question from the chat room. Uh, what does the guy with the shock falchion have a robe on? Why do you have a robe on? I think Profion, I think he's talking about you. You don't need to resist before I arrest.
Okay, uh, no Titan, I haven't. Sorry. I'm wearing a robe for evasion purposes. I've got robe levels. Cool. I was just gonna say that. Uh, just so uh, I did notice in chat, someone said, you know, in regard to my cross. We can also provide uh, freedom of movement in certain bodily areas, does it not? <laughs> oh yeah, I wonder. I've actually got my spiked boots. I could always put those on too. Might help, right? If you still want to take advantage of your invasion, don't wear tidy whities <laughs> Indeed, I, I enjoy the breeze. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta let it swing. <laughs> so we can just pull the boss? We don't have to fight all that other trash. If you guys just stay at the entrance, you just activate it, and then. As soon as she comes active, we pull her, and then once we kill her, we just jump in the water. They don't have don't tilts have in this game yet. We'll recover what you have stolen from your body. The cleric gives a nod, and you want to warriors spring from the water. Uh, I did want to uh, mention someone in chat basically said in regard to my crossbow. Well, I'm an admin. Why don't I just spawn? A better crossbow for myself, and that's not actually how it works in this character. This character is uh, a regular play character, not an admin character, so I can't create items or to use any admin commands or do any of that stuff. Uh, this particular guy is just like any other character that plays the game, except he hasn't been played a whole lot outside of the live stream until uh, just recently, so uh, he's gear weak. But uh, but he's still uh, pretty fun to play. He's uh, one of my favorites actually to play. I really enjoy it. So. That's why I'm playing him with a live stream here. Um, but no, I can't just say spawn a better weapon for this guy because that would uh, that would not be uh, right because he's a regular play character that I have. Plus, this uh, the account I'm logging in on doesn't have that ability. It's a regular play account. Yeah. So just jump into the water. Yeah. 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 You, you don't have to deal with with all that trash. Don't tell him. Don't end up fixing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's a little late for that, but uh, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the casters are tough, right? Like, yeah, for sure. Get those shaman. Oh, that sounds like uh, sounds like good tactics to me. Wow, that worked. Uh, someone asked, when are the ACPRR changes planned to be released? I'm going to have more information hey. about that uh, shortly. Um, yeah, I really can't spill the beans like yet. But we're going to—we're actually working on a uh, a producer's letter update. I guess I could say that, where we're going to try to talk a little bit about what's what's in store for uh, DDO in the next couple updates, and we will have an answer to that question then. Uh, but. Not really ready to, to spill the beans on the live stream on that, sorry. Yeah, nice job. Without a caster, even. Yeah, not too bad. Couple of deaths. Took about a half hour. Kyoki cleaned up. <laughs> Nice work. 
Uh, unfortunately, I think uh, I think since I've only We're got it an hour for they're overrated. <laughs> I think because uh, because I've only got about nine minutes left on the live stream, I don't really want to get started on Prove Your Worth or anything like that. So, probably end up just calling it here. Well, it was fun and it was nice uh, playing and meeting you, uh, Cork. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, just just so you know, um, not a little uh, later on in the uh, afternoon when I get some time. I'll uh, pop onto the uh, server here and uh, get you guys a code uh, for some turbine points uh, for joining me on the live stream here. I uh, really appreciate it. You can expect that by this evening. That's great. All Thank right. you very much. Always a pleasure. Indeed. All right. Well, you guys take care and have fun in your next run, Porter. Yep. Have fun. See you guys. See you. All right, let me uh, let me head to the chat room. Uh, see what else we got. Uh, Skunk City asks, "Will there be another update before Halloween?" Yes, there will. Uh, at least that's the way it's planned. Uh, we'll have more information on that uh, shortly. And like I said, in regards Take to care. our update plans, but yes, we we do have another uh, update plan before Halloween. Uh, Severin had a post about the armor up theme of the next update. Yes, uh, that's true. He did actually do that, and that that would be update 23, and that would actually include the AC PRR changes. So uh, at least currently planned, that is the the plan for that. Uh, let's see. Um, Epic PvP. <laughs> Epic PvP is uh, possible in the private instances now. Uh, prior to update 22, those above level 20 uh, couldn't always get into the private instances, and we actually fixed a bug in related to that for update 22. So now, now you can uh, go in to do that Epic PvP, should you wish to. Uh, will Maybar be updated before its next showing? I uh, don't, sorry, I don't have an answer to that one. Um, I'm not quite sure, to be honest, what the uh, status of Maybar is. Cordo, your tune is not ready for Epic Elite. <laughs> You're probably right. I, mean, I could always pike my way through Epic Elite, right? No. Yeah, you're right. This character, if if this character was, say, a regular live play character, and I was running, say, with a, a group or whatever, this guy would not be ready for Epic Elite. That's absolutely true. Um, but, you know, on the live stream, this is one of the more built-out characters that I'm willing to, say, sacrifice for the live stream. Uh, he is gear poor, but uh, he, he's going to slowly get better over time. And he's a fun character to play. And obviously, as you saw, despite having uh, a death uh, there, uh, it threw all right in Epic Elite with the help of the group. Uh, very much with the help of the group there. And uh, But still, it's it's fun. You're right, even if, if maybe this guy is not quite ready for Epic Elite, I'm still glad we run it at that difficulty. It's definitely the uh, way to go. Let's see. Stat damage, not sure what that's about. People are complaining about implosion, Overvan mentions. Can that spell get a fix like Will of the Banshee got? Um, I don't know what the status of implosion is. I mean, I know that we're aware of some specific ways that implosion procs that have changed. Um, I don't really know what the status of that bug is. So sorry, I can't get you a concrete answer as to uh, when it'll get fixed or whether it'll get fixed. But I am... I am I mean, I know I'm aware of it, and other folks are aware of it too. And when I get off the uh, live stream here, I'll check to make sure we have a bug on it. But I'm 99% sure we probably do. Um, any other events planned except for the Cove and Maybar? Maybe. So, we'll see. Uh, let's see. All right, well, if we don't have any other uh, final questions here, maybe we'll uh, wrap up the uh, live stream. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, just again, uh, remember to uh, join us every noon Eastern, minus 4 GMT, on twitch.tv slash stream. And uh, you too can uh, join us on the live servers, group with us, look for the LFM. We'll tell you where and how uh, every uh, single time 
that we do this uh, thing here on Wednesday. And also just to note that in a half hour, about a half hour here, I'm going to be back on twitch.tv slash livestream. So if you'd like to uh, join us for an extended livestream session, I invite you to do so and would uh, appreciate it very much. I'm going to be doing a static group with uh, Lesson, and uh, I think Samus may not be here this week, but we'll see. Uh, Grimord and some other uh, fine folks over on Arganesson. It's the uh, Summer Fling static group. We're just doing a... Uh, just for the summer, getting together some uh, some good old friends, uh, both old and new, and uh, having a lot of fun here on the live stream. So hope to see you in about a half hour, and before I go, I am going to uh, drop some turbine points in the chat. Again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, get in touch with us on our social networks or ddo.com. You can PM me through the forums, you can DM me on Twitter, and uh, you can send me a message here for a little while longer at least on uh, twitch.tv, and uh, you can ask a question while we're here in the chat. So again, thanks very much for joining us, and we will see you again soon. Have fun.